Recently, a discovery has captured the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Bill Nye, the well-known science communicator, made headlines when he revealed that Voyager 1 had detected over 300 massive objects in deep space. This astonishing announcement has ignited curiosity across the globe, raising profound questions. What exactly are these objects? Where did they come from? And what could they mean for our understanding of the cosmos? Today, we embark on a journey to explore the mysteries hinted at by Voyager 1's first extraordinary findings. For nearly five decades, the Voyager missions have been humanity's eyes on the outer planets and beyond. Surprisingly, these spacecraft weren't designed to last this long. In the 1970s, visionary scientists like Michael Minovich proposed a groundbreaking idea. A spacecraft could harness the gravity of planets to catapult itself further into the solar system. A technique now known as the gravitational slingshot. Originally intended to operate for only five years, the Voyager missions have far surpassed all expectations. Launched just weeks apart in the summer of 1977, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were first tasked with exploring Jupiter and Saturn. These missions provided unprecedentedly detailed studies of the gas giants, revealing their complex atmospheres, turbulent storms, and magnetic fields. But the journey did not stop there. Voyager 2 continued on to conduct the first ever close-up observations of Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These historic flybys earned the mission the title of the Voyager Grand Tour a testament to the ingenuity of its planners and the boldness of the technology. Now, more than 45 years later, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still traveling, collecting crucial scientific data from the outer reaches of the cosmos. In 2013, NASA announced that Voyager 1 had officially entered interstellar space, the vast region between stars, beyond the influence of the sun's magnetic field and solar wind. Imagine leaving the crowded solar system and stepping into a serene star-filled wilderness. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, crossing this same vast frontier some 17.7 billion kilometers from the Sun. Astonishingly, these two spacecraft remain the only human-made objects to have ventured so far, studying how interstellar matter interacts with our Sun's solar wind. These pioneering missions have revealed invaluable insights about the heliosphere, a protective bubble that surrounds and shields our solar system. The heliosphere, shaped by the sun's continuous stream of charged particles, acts as a cosmic barrier against high-energy radiation from deep space. Both Voyager spacecraft serve as our messengers, transmitting data about this invisible shield. The outer boundary of the heliosphere, known as the heliopause, marks the transition from the sun's influence into interstellar space. One of the most remarkable discoveries from Voyager is the presence of cosmic rays, mysterious high-energy particles that become far more intense beyond the heliopause than within its protective confines. It's a stark reminder of the hostile, dynamic environment that exists beyond our solar system. A world far more extreme than anything we experience on Earth. By combining Voyager data with later missions, NASA has been able to create an increasingly complete picture of how the Sun interacts with interstellar space, revealing surprises that continue to challenge scientists. For example, in 2023, Voyager 1 detected a faint, low-frequency humming, believed to correspond to vibrations in the sparse gas drifting through interstellar space. Dr. Nicola Fox, head of NASA's Heliophysics Division, highlighted the significance of these findings, emphasizing that over 46 years, the Voyager missions have transformed our understanding of the Sun and its surrounding environment in ways no other spacecraft has. The challenges faced by Voyager are extraordinary. Both spacecraft are powered by plutonium-based radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which slowly lose energy as the plutonium decays. This decline forces NASA to shut down non-essential systems, including heaters designed to protect instruments from the freezing void. 
Remarkably, all five of Voyager's key instruments have continued functioning since 2019, defying expectations and leaving scientists both amazed and baffled. Even the heliopause itself is not static. Data from Voyager and NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer, IBEX, have shown that this boundary shifts, forming unusual angles that continue to perplex researchers. Sudden brightening of energetic particles and rapid changes in the heliopause's position suggest that our solar system's edge is far more dynamic than previously thought. Such findings help explain why Voyager 1 and 2 entered interstellar space six years apart, despite their similar trajectories. Voyager 1 has even experienced moments of puzzling behavior. In May 2023, its Altitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, which directs the high-gain antenna, sent erratic data back to Earth. At first, it seemed as though Voyager 1 were struggling to communicate, sending incoherent signals. Yet the spacecraft's instruments continued operating normally, and its radio signal remained strong. NASA eventually resolved the issue by switching the AACS to a functional backup computer, but the cause of the anomaly remains unclear, adding another layer of intrigue to this historic mission. Despite the extreme distances, aging systems, and cosmic hazards, Voyager 1 and 2 continue to transmit invaluable data. Their onboard computers, with just 70 kilobytes of memory, operate like cosmic time capsules of 1970s technology. Yet, decades of software updates sent across billions of kilometers have kept these pioneers functional, allowing us to study phenomena that no other spacecraft can access. The discoveries from Voyager are not only scientific, they are profoundly human. These spacecraft revealed Jupiter as a world of extremes, with hundreds of hurricanes, glowing auroras, and intricate ring systems. Saturn's rings were discovered to be far more complex than imagined, with thousands of delicate ringlets woven into breathtaking patterns. Moons such as Europa, Enceladus, and Triton revealed oceans beneath icy surfaces, geysers of nitrogen, and environments that may harbor life, highlighting potential targets for future exploration. Perhaps the most poetic moment came in the early 1990s, when Voyager 1 turned its camera toward Earth at the suggestion of Carl Sagan, capturing the iconic, pale blue dot, image. From billions of kilometers away, Earth appeared as a tiny speck suspended in a sunbeam, a humbling reminder of our place in the vast universe. Today, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 continue their journey, moving farther from the sun by several light seconds each day. Communication with these distant explorers relies on NASA's deep space network, ensuring that their faint signals, mere whispers amid the noise of Earth, still reach us. Their legacy is a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and unrelenting curiosity. The Voyager missions are a reminder of the rare alignment of opportunity and ingenuity that makes exploration possible. Thanks to gravitational assists and careful planning, these spacecraft reached Neptune in just 12 years, a journey that could have taken decades otherwise. Nearly 50 years later, Voyager 1 and 2 remain humanity's most distant emissaries, unlocking the secrets of interstellar space and inspiring generations to reach for the stars. As we reflect on their achievements, it is clear, the twin Voyagers are more than machines. They are symbols of human ambition, courage, and the enduring desire to explore the unknown. Their journey is a story of perseverance against impossible odds, of discovery in the silent depths of space, and of the eternal human spirit reaching beyond the confines of Earth. Let us celebrate these cosmic pioneers, whose journey continues to redefine our understanding of the solar system and beyond. And let us remember, Voyager 1 and 2 carry not just data, but the dreams of an entire planet, silently traversing the universe, awaiting the day when someone, or something, might finally receive their message. If you found this story fascinating, leave your thoughts in the comments, hit the like button, and subscribe to Waves Discovery for more extraordinary tales from the cosmos.